Hi, hello. Today is day five of 12 days of Christmas. As you can tell, I have my Christmassy earrings on. These are from Primark, if you are wondering. I really, really like them. They're so cool. Add something to the look. So today I have a full face of full glam Christmas party makeup. It is quite dramatic, but I love it. I think it's cute. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Yeah, if you want to see how I created this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I have my headband, Christmas headband on. If you want to know, it's from Primark. I can't even get the whole thing in. I've also got my Christmas onesie on and I am ready to make a Christmas look. Today I'm doing day five of 12 days of Christmas and it is the full glam Christmas party makeup. I'm gonna go straight into it, cause I don't wanna waste no time. So for primer, I'm gonna take two. So the first one is the Maybelline Baby Skin, which is a pore eraser. I haven't used this in a while. I'm just focusing this on the middle part of my face. Don't want no pores showing up, you know? in the Christmas party photos. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the MAC Strobe Cream in Gold Light. So this is new, I haven't used this before, but I have used the Strobe Cream before, um, but this is the like gold tint to it, which is gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna apply this to my face first. And as per usual with Strobe Creams, I'm gonna blend it out with a dual fiber brush. Powder. Okay, so then next, the foundation I'm gonna go in with is the L'Oreal True Match. This has got a nice finish to it. It's got like gold reflex to it in there, which isn't too intense, but I think for photos and a party would be really nice. And to go with the strobe cream, it actually looks really nice, I love it. But I have the shade 1.N Ivory, which is quite light. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with a sponge for this. the most full coverage foundation but it looks nice so the concealer I'm gonna go in with is the Urban Decay All Nighter waterproof full coverage concealer this is in the shade fair neutral which I believe is one of the lightest shades which I always say in my videos and blend that out with a sponge again <laughs> So I'm going to cream contour. I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I actually really like this. You either love or hate this. I've noticed with reviews. And I'm just going to blend that out with a sponge. gave a nice chisel to the face. Now for powder, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna use a sponge to apply this. gonna get a big brush to blend that in push the product in okay so for contour I'm gonna take the NYX uh, highlight and contour palette I'm gonna take the the cool toned one only take in a little bit of this Then I'm gonna take some of that loose powder again and and chisel that contour out. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Milk Soleil bronzer. 
it's just a nice matte bronzer and I'm just gonna put that all over the areas oh this tastes really nice <laughs> not too heavy and then I'm gonna take one of my favorite blushes at the moment this is the benefit dandelion blush it's just a nice pink light pink blush with a hint of like shimmer which I think would look nice for a party really nice blush and it's quite pigmented as well so now I'm going to brush this off now I'm going to set my face with the Urban K All Nighter. This is definitely a must if you're going out to a party or if you're going to be dancing in like a hot room all night. It's going to keep your makeup on all night. Now for highlight I'm going to be taking the Ofra Highlight in Rodeo Drive. I have these minis here. This is Rodeo Drive here. Okay, so now the eyes. Okay, so I've zoomed you in a little bit because we're gonna be doing the eyes next. For the eye base today, I'm gonna be taking the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Okay, so next I'm going to take a black gel liner just because I want the base to be like really black. I'm using the, by the way, I'm using the ColourPop cream gel colour in Twerve, which is just the black. Okay, so today I'm going to be taking the Morphe 35B palette because it's got all the shades that I need in here. First I'm going to take the red shade by here. My eyes look so weird. My eyes look so small. Oh my god. We are gonna sort that out, I promise. Oh my god, that's so weird. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe M433 brush. I'm keeping the eyeshadow rounded. So now I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of black on a Morphe M507 brush and I'm gonna blend this base out like so okay so I'm just gonna add a bit of the white shade to the brow bone. Okay so next I'm going to take this dark green shade to go on the lid. So where we just put that black I'm going to put a bit of green in the like spotlight. <laughs> So for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the red shade and smoke that out. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush, this is the Sigma E30 brush, and I'm going to take the black and I'm going to go right up against the lash line. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to take the highlight we took on the face, which is the Ofra Rodeo Drive, this one. And then I'm gonna spritz the brush, just to get a little bit more intense, and place that in the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna take a black pencil liner and do the upper lash line. Okay, so I'm going to apply mascara, eyebrows, and lashes off camera just because you know you know how to do all that stuff. I'm gonna be using the Revolution Pro eyebrow cushion in dark brown. Then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and then I'm gonna use the Eden Lashes in E05. So I will be right back. Okay, so lastly is lips. So today I just have a nude lip for this look because the eyes are very bold and dark. So I thought a nude lip would be really nice. So I'm gonna go in with the, the matching pair, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Pencil in Nude and then the lipstick in Nude. And 
now the lipstick. Them lip pencils are so creamy and nice and pigmented. So are these lipsticks. Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep this on actually. <laughs> Why not? I also have some earrings here, which again are from are from Primark. You'll probably see in a few of these videos me wearing these because I think they are so cute and I don't wear earrings enough in my videos. Cute! Okay, so this is the end. If you like this look, then please give it a big thumbs up. Go check out my playlist up there of my 12 days of Christmas. I will link it up there. This is only day five, so obviously I have more to come. And yeah, that is it. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I live to the moon and back, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.